سلام We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son, and the Father of all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, one instance of the Father, by one thing who made who for us men, for our salvation, came down.
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O God, the name of God, who created the sin of the whole world, hear us and have mercy on us all. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those in whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy precious gifts. Our sacrifice and the Lord who brings them, Lord have mercy. Alleluia, Jeb, maybe. Pai, baby, eh, oh, oh, eh, ta, eh, shoy, se, sa, me. Sag es heute. 
Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For He have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us themselves, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask Him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. O Master Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of all Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplication and praise of his saints, for that which is good in our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and the blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, from this holy table, from this holy church, and from this holy place that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy.
May your servants, the ministers of this day, the archdeacon and all the deacons, the clergy and all the people, my weakness, be absolved from the mouth of all whole trinity, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only holy Catholic and apostolic church, and from the mouth of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the avenger, St. Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, Dioscorus, and Athanasius, the apostolic, St. Peter, the holy martyr and high priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, and St. Gregory, and from the mouth of the 318 assembly in Isaiah, the 150 Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, and from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, of Autodorus II, and his partner in the liturgy, our honored father, the Metropolitan Amber Serapion, and from my own mouth, being the least, for blessed and full of glory, your holy name, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and all times, to the ages of all ages. Amen. So Oh, 
Christ calls to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Hebrews, may his blessing be upon us, amen. For this, Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being translated king of righteousness, and then also king of Salem, meaning king of peace without father, without mother, without genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life but made like the Son of God, remains a priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, to whom even the patriarch Abraham gave her a tenth of the spoils. And indeed, those who are the sons of Levi, who receive the priesthood, have a commandment to receive tithes from the people according to the law, that is, from their brethren, although they have come from the loins of Abraham. But he whose genealogy is not derived from them receives tithes from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. Now beyond all contradiction, the lesser is blessed by the better. Here mortal men receive tithes, but there he receives them of whom it is witnessed that he lives. Even Levi who received tithes paid tithes through Abraham, so to speak, for he was still in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Therefore, perfection were through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law. What further need was there that another priest should rise according to the order of Melchizedek, and not to be called according to the the order of Aaron. For the priesthood being changed of the necessity, there is also a change of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken belongs to another tribe from which no man has officiated at the altar. 
For it is evident that our Lord arose from Judah, of which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident if in the likeness of Melchizedek there arises another priest who has come, not according to the law of a fleshly commandment, <clears throat> but according to the power of an endless life. For he testifies, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the Second Epistle of our teacher St. Peter. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent. The elder to the elect lady and her children whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth, because of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with you from God the Father and from the Lord. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love, I rejoice greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth, as we receive commandment from the Father, and now I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. This is love that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we do not lose those things we worked for, but that we may receive a full reward. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house nor greet him. For he who greets, who greets him shares in his evil deeds. Having many things to write to you, I did not wish to do so with paper and ink, but I hope to come to you and speak face to face that our joy may be full, that the children of your elect sister greet you, I mean. Do not love the world nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away in all its desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen.
reading from the Acts of our Fathers, the pure apostles who invested, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessings be with us all. Amen. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision, Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent. For I am with you, and no one will ever, no one will t attack you to hurt you, for I have many people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. When Gallio the, was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews with one accord rose up against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuades men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or wicked crimes or Jews, O Jews, there would be reason why I should bear with you. But if it is a question of words and names and your own law, look to it yourselves. For I do not want to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. But Gallio took no notice of these things. So Paul still remained a good while. Then he took leave of the brethren and sailed for Syria. And Priscilla and Aquila were with him. He had his hair cut off at Centria, for he had taken a vow. And he came to Ephesus and left them there, but he himself entered the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. When they asked him to stay a longer time with them, he did not consent, but took leave of them, saying, I must by all means keep this coming feast in Jerusalem. But I will return again to you, God willing, and he sailed from Ephesus. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, be confirmed in the holy church of God forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today is the 29th day of the blessed month of October. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and our iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my fathers, and my brethren. Amen. On this day, Saint Exani, or Saint Zena, departed. She was the only daughter of one of the noble families in Rome. She was raised on loving worship, reading the biography of saints, and being compassionate to the poor. She frequently visited the houses of virgins in Rome, trying to follow their footsteps. The, one, the son of one of the government ministers of Rome asked to marry her. Her father prepared all the needs of her wedding. However, she asked her mother to go to visit some nuns to bid them farewell. When she, allowed, when she was allowed, she took two of the maiden servants and her precious ornaments and sailed to Cyprus, where she met St. Epiphanius, Bishop of Cyprus. She informed him of her desire for the monastic life. He advised her to go to Alexandria. She obeyed and sailed to Alexandria, where she met Pope Theophilus, the 23rd Patriarch. She informed him of her desire and she handed to him all her jewels. He attached her to one of the houses of virgins. The Pope sold the jewels and built with the price a church after the name of St. Stephen in Alexandria. Exani preserved in practicing life of asceticism and worship for more than 20 years. When her departure drew near, a cross of light appeared in heaven, surrounded by a luminous circle of stars in the middle of the day. This scene remained until her pure body was buried. The people of Alexandria realized that it was a heavenly sign indicating the imminence of her spiritual life. May the blessing of St. Exani be with us all. Amen. On this day also, St. Sarkios, the struggle mental, departed. May the blessing of the saint and may the prayers of all the saints be with us all. Glory be to our God forever. Amen. Thank you.
Yes, our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who sent us holy honor, apostles, many prophets, and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, to hear the things which you and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes would they see and your ears would they hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Lord of Remember also our Master, those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, O Lord our God, those who have already fallen asleep, repose them, those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Stand in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. John the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us all. From the psalm of our teacher, David the prophet, may his blessing be with us all. Bring to the Lord the families of the Gentile. Bring to the Lord glory and honor. Bring to the Lord the glory becoming his name, take offerings, and go into his courts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ the Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a return. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a net here who has five burning loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, in a number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. So when they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, so that nothing is lost. Therefore they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of five burning loaves, from which left over by those who had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the sign that Jesus did, said, this is truly the prophet 
who is to come into the world. Glory be to God forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing great and everyone is a uh, very good health. Um, God willing, the liturgies this week will be the same. We'll uh, have a liturgy, we'll, we'll go back to normal. So we have a liturgy every day except on Monday and Thursday. So we have a liturgy on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Every liturgy starts at 8 a.m. and then we have the two liturgies on Sunday. So Tuesday, Wednesday at 8 and then on Sunday we have one at 7 and one at nine on the, the English liturgy. Um, inshallah, on Saturday, we'll, uh, we'll celebrate the, the first annual memorial for our beloved father, Archdeacon Morus. Uh, so it'll be one year of his departure. That will be on Saturday, God willing, and we'll celebrate uh, his departure, uh, inshallah, next week, next Saturday. Also, um, heads up, uh, a week from tomorrow, God willing, we'll be starting Jonas Fast. Um, just, um, just telling you ahead of time the calendar uh, of the Coptic calendar this year. So, God willing, a week from today, we'll be announcing the times of the liturgies next Sunday, God willing, but just to give you a heads up. So, we'll start, inshallah, Jonas Fast a week uh, from tomorrow. It's Jonas Fast is three days, and then two weeks from that Monday, We'll celebrate or we'll start the Great Lent and we'll tell you all about it next Sunday. I'm just uh, uh, giving you a heads up so you can already prepare your mind and prepare your spiritual life. Uh, maybe meet with your father of confession, maybe start to arrange for spiritual exercises. We're coming to the holiest time of the year, June is fast, two weeks after the Great Lent. It's a great time every year that God allows us to celebrate and restore our spiritual life. Also, before we go into the sermon, let me tell you um, uh, a, a ritual or something liturgical that uh, we're doing today. Today is the 29th day of Tuba. Last month was Kiyak. We all know that on the 29th of every Coptic month, we celebrate three occasions. Do you remember what they are? Every 29th day of Coptic month, we celebrate three feasts, major feasts. The first one is the Annunciation, and then the Nativity and Resurrection. That's every 29th of Coptic month, except two months, which is one of them is Tuba, the, the current month that we're in now, and Amshir. Why? Because they come between the birth of Christ, the 29th of Kiak, and the Annunciation of Archangel Gabriel to St. Mary of the birth of Christ, the 29th of Baramhat. So between the birth and the starting of the ninth, nine month sync cycle, so we have these two months. So these two months, we said, or we um, say they represent the prophecies and the prophets and the Old Testament because they come before the annunciation of the birth of Christ, before Baramhat, before the month of Baramhat. So these two months, we don't celebrate on the 29th day of the Coptic month, we don't celebrate these three occasions or these three feasts. So today is the fifth Sunday. We read the readings of the fifth Sunday, which uh, we call them the reading of the blessing. And the readings of the blessing is the gospel of feeding the multitude as we read today. So that's why today we're reading the gospel that we'll be reading in two weeks again, by the way. And I'll explain it again when we come to that Sunday. So um, today, as I said, we are talking about the feeding the multitude. It's a great miracle. It's actually the, the only miracle that was mentioned in all four Gospels. St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, and St. John. All the evangelists, all of them mentioned that particular um, miracle, which is feeding the multitude. You can look at it from a lot of perspectives. We talked about it so many times, but maybe we haven't talked about the similarities between this great miracle and the Eucharist, the liturgy. When you see feeding the multitude, when our Lord Jesus Christ blessed five loaves and two fish and fed the multitude, they were about 5,000 men except for women and children, and at the end they collected 12 baskets. 
And when you look at this miracle and the Eucharist, do you see any similarities? Why does the church read this gospel when we have a fifth Sunday? It's a blessing. We have more than four Sundays. It's a unique month. It's a blessing. We have abundant, more abundant Sundays. So that's why it's a sign of a blessing. And the time when we all meet and enjoy this blessing is the Eucharist. Today, like we're here, this is called liturgy or the Eucharist. We celebrate the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in the same, actually, in the same um, chapter, uh, chapter 6 in the Gospel of St. John, our Lord Jesus Christ talked about his body and his blood. He talked about himself being the bread of life. He told him, I'm giving you the bread of life, not like your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and die. Whoever eats of my body and drink of my blood lives forever. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. However, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, for my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. It's in the same chapter, chapter 6 in St. John's Gospel, where feeding the multitude miracle happened. So uh, think about it. Put this miracle and the Eucharist, the liturgy. Do you see any similarities between them? Both? Think about it. Yes or no? Now try to think. I'm not going to give you the answer right away. Feeding the multitude and then the Eucharist. Huh? Everything is? What, what are the similarities? Okay, yes, they are similar. What are the similarities? Feeding. Okay, of course, yeah, very obvious. They were fed, and we are fed. They were fed with materialistic food, which is the loaves and the fish, but we are fed with heavenly food, which is the body and the blood of Christ. What else? It's very obvious. Hmm? It didn't finish, and of course, that's a very good point. And the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, it's always on the altar. It fed them, and they were all filled. We are also filled. They were all filled. And after they've been filled, they had 12 baskets. So it doesn't finish. The, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ is always on the altar. What is the most important thing? It was gathering, and who is in the midst? Christ. That's the Eucharist. Us gathered in the church, and who is among us? Jesus. Look at the pictures. So that's a gathering, that's a congregation, and had our Lord Jesus Christ among them, fed them, and they were gone, felt. Us too, we are here, we are gathered, and we have our Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of us, and we are felt. That's the Eucharist. That's the idea of the Eucharist. That's the idea of communion. We are here participating all together. So that's number one. So number one, you said they were all filled, and we are all fed. They ate, and we ate, but they ate physical, materialistic food. We eat heavenly food. It does not finish. And here, of course, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ all is in the altar. Number three, I would say participation. That's why in our Coptic church, we like to use the word liturgy. Other churches use the word mass. We don't like to use the word mass. It's not wrong. But the, the word liturgy is more expressive. Do you know what the, lit, the word liturgy means? It means the work of the people. The work of the people. Why? Because we have to participate. If I come in the morning and I by myself, I cannot pray the liturgy. If a priest comes in the morning, he opens the curtain and he's preparing everything and finds no one behind him to pray with, he will close the curtain again and wait for someone to come to start the liturgy. Why? Because it is a liturgy. It cannot be prayed by a person alone. It's the work of the people. Also, in the feeding the multitude miracle, our Lord Jesus Christ insisted on the participation of the people and the disciples. So the story tells us that the disciples went to our Lord Jesus Christ asking him to feed the multitude, to send them away. He said, no, you give them food. So like, Lord, we don't have anything here. He said, no, look, 
And then you know the story, they found five loaves and two fish. And he said, make them groups of 50. So the disciples here represent priesthood. So our Lord Jesus Christ gives his gifts to the priesthood and the priesthood will relate to the congregation. So he insisted on the participation of the disciples and the people. They participated also by being in groups of 50. The participation of everyone with Christ is what we do here. We all participate in praying and at the end we all eat from the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another point, it is a celebration. Every time we come here, we celebrate. We celebrate the, the Eucharistic sacrifice. We, we, ce we celebrate the bloodless sacrifice, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Also, they celebrated. They celebrated that our Lord made that great miracle. And by the way, in the, in the Gospel of St. John, we'll talk about this in, in two weeks, only mentioned seven miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ. All of them has to do with the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. It shows the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the end of every miracle, it says, many people believed. So those seven miracles were written only to show us or to reveal to us the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ and to reveal to us that the purpose of those miracles and all the miracles of our Lord Jesus Christ is for everyone to have faith. So it is celebration. What are we celebrating here? We're celebrating the death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and that's what we say when we say Amin, 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 your death, O oh Lord, and so on. So we're here to celebrate to celebrate the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Back then, they celebrated that big meal that he created for all of them, that kept them alive, that filled them and kept them alive. All right? Another thing similar between both is being in God's presence. They were there in God's presence. Our Lord Jesus Christ was there teaching them. We are all here in God's presence because God promised and he said, if two or three gathered in my name, where will he be? In the midst of them. So we are here believing the promises of our Lord Jesus Christ and we are here believing that he is in the midst of us. So number one, the participation. Number two, the celebration. Number three, being in the presence of God or being in God's presence. He is around. That's why we call the church the house of God. When we are gathered, he is among us. Another thing is our offering. And that miracle, and when you heard the story today, they found a young man or they found a boy with food. So they offered the food in the hand of Christ, and in the hands of Christ, our offerings are abundant. Same thing here. We are offering the bread, and we are offering the wine, we are offering the incense. Everything is being brought to the church by the believers, to the hand of the Lord. And then the offerings, our offerings, our volunteer offering in the hand of the Lord, it's abundant. So our Lord Jesus Christ, who created food for 5,000 men and more, could have created the whole thing from the beginning. But he did not do that. He said, look around and see what we have here. Teaching us that I have to offer something, and then he will perfect it. I have to present something to him, and he will complete the work. But I have to offer something. I cannot just come empty-handed. What do we offer? We offer the bread, and the wine, and the utensils, and the incense, and everything. And also we offer our hearts. We offer ourselves. It's very important. We offer our services, like the disciples did. So that's what we offer. So back in those days, they offered this five loaves and two fish to Christ. And from this five loaves and two fish, he fed those people 
thousands of people. And also here, we are offering things, and then in the hands of the Lord, those things that we are offered at the end, they become the body and the blood of Christ, and then we are all filled and we are all happy. Both are sacrifices, the fifth point or the sixth point. Both are sacrifices. The boy sacrificed the food. The disciples sacrificed their, their services. We are sacrificing our offering and we are sacrificing our heart. We are sacrificing our time. And at the end, the result is we are all fed and we are all happy. Lastly, the last point is the dismissal. And that's a good point. When Abuna comes at the end and he said, go in peace, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Does he end the service or he begins a service? He begins a service or ends a service? It's called the dismissal, the conclusion at the end when he said, may love the Father, the, 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 Love God the Father, the begotten, the begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the fellowship, the communion, the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace. Does he end or he begins? He begins. What does he begin? Hmm? What is the second liturgy? <laughs> you know, he begins us go out there and preaching. Make this be Exactly. We are here participating, we are here, are gathered, we are here offering, and at the end we partake of the body and the blood of Christ, and then the priest or the bishop, whoever is here, send us all to the world to preach, to take that strong message to everyone back in the world. You are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. We're not here and close doors just to participate and celebrate the liturgy, and that's it. No, that body and the blood of Christ should give us strength and power to go out there and preach the good news. When our Lord Jesus Christ gathered the disciples around him, he sent them two by two to go to every city and every region he was about to visit. And it says here then, that at the end of the miracle today that was read, then those men, when they had seen the sign that Jesus did, said, This is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. And he started to preach. Imagine those families, I would say 5,000 families, because they didn't count ladies and children at that time. So I would say 5,000 families. Imagine when they go out and they said or they preach about this great miracle they experienced with Christ how many people they would bring to Christ. When you go and tell them, no, like we were there for hours and at the end we were hungry and out of nowhere, this man provided food for everyone unheard of. Like usually when you invite people to your house or when you feed people, you don't feed thousands, maybe tens, but thousands out of nowhere. So imagine those people when you go out and they talk about this miracle. They preach. Same thing with us. When we are dismissed, we are dismissed not to go and have fun and drink coffee and like uh, watch watch games and, and have fun with with friends. No, our we have to continue the service. Abuna dismisses us to continue the service, being the images of Christ out there in the world. So um, the feeding the multitude and the Eucharistic meal the body and the blood of Christ. The similarities are, as you said at the beginning, there is food involved. We are being fed, they were fed, they were fed earthly, materialistic food. We are fed heavenly food. In both occasions, we have participation in the offering. They offered the five loaves and two fish. We offer things here. And both are celebrations. Number four, in both, we are being in the presence of God. Number five, in both, we have to offer in the hands of God, and then God will perfect our offering. Six, both are sacrifices. They sacrificed food here and services. We also sacrifice materials and services. And lastly, 
At the end there, they were dismissed to go out and preach the, the great prophet, of course, the son of man, the son of God. And here too, after we partake of the Eucharist, we should go out and preach the image of God to everyone around us in the world. So it's a, it's a great, when you look at both, it's a great similarities. Around Christ, we are all filled. Around Christ, we are all happy. Around Christ, we are all being filled and also send a strong message to everyone there. But we have to offer sacrifice. We have to offer offerings. And then everything, every little thing that we offer in the hands of God will be great. And it will help to feed multitudes. So it was a boy that offered one small thing, but because of what he had offered, because of the service of everyone, including the disciples, everyone was, was felt. Same thing, when we offer our smallest thing, little, little things in God's hands, many people also would benefit. We'll continue, God willing, as I said, the same gospel will be read in two weeks. We'll continue our talks about feeding the multitude. Glory be to our God forever. Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontificator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens. He sits right hand of his father and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the father, who with the father and the son is worshiped and glorified who spoke by the prophets on an holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess some baptism and remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Forgive me and pray. Oh God, the great the eternal who formed man in incorruption. And death which entered into the world through the envy of the devil we have destroyed by the life giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with heavenly peace by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth. 
and good will towards men. Pray for perfect peace, love and the holy apostolic greetings. According to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice, bearing death, and make us all worthy our master to greet one another with the holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus. Our Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us, have mercy on us. Offer, 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 stand in fear and trembling, look towards the east, let us uh, uh, attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of, of praise. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We have them with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is me, and right. Me. Meet and right, meet and right, truly, indeed, it is meet and right to you, the being, Master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the eyes and looks upon the lowly, who have created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated stand. Before whom is stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look toward the east. You are here around whom is stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings praising continuously without ceasing saying Oshomin.
us created us and placed us in the paradise of joy when we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy you have not abandoned us to the end but have always visited us your holy prophets and in the last days you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten son our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin, Mary. taught us the ways of salvation he granted us the birth of from on high through water and spirit he made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your holy spirit he loved his own who in the world and has a ransom in our behalf gave himself up unto death which reigned over us whereby we were we were bound and sold in account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. the dead on the third day he ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand O father he has appointed a day for recompense and which will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds Of course, He took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life giving. Towards him into God his Father, Master of everyone, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed Amen. and he sanctified it. disciples say the apostles saying take eat of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me
Likewise, the cup of the suffering makes it of wine and water, and when he had given thanks, he blessed it, and he sanctified it. disciple and say the apostle saying take drink of it all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. So commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens. He is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens. Ah, Son and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours, for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Oh, 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 oh. Let us attend. Our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of Him. May 
because already our master to partake of your holding to the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit and have a share and inheritance with all the saints. Uh, please, yes, since the beginning, remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. This which have acquired yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her foremost to remember, O Lord, our honor, Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, of our Tawadros the Second and his partner in the liturgy, our honor, Father, the Metropolitan Ambassador. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church, the shepherd, your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemons, priests, and deacons. Lord have mercy. And all thy servants, and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantokara, Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place in every place in every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. O And those who dwell therein in God's faith, graciously accord the Lord to bless the earth of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Raise them to the measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its us be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage, O Lord, our life as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of every one wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we to have insufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Remember, O Lord, those who have run to you, these gifts to those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy precious gifts, our sacrifice, and those who bring them. And this, O Lord, at the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously, I call the Lord to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos said, Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and St. John the Forerunner, Baptist, and Lawrence, St. Stephen, Archdeacon, and Proto-Moderate, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, St. Mark, 
the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarchs and severance of teacher, the scholars and ethnicity, the apostolic, Saint Peter, the holy martyr and the high priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the theologian, Saint Gregory, the wonder worker, Saint Gregory, the Armenian. The 318 in Simbla, and I say the 150, Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the great of Antony, the righteous of Paul, the three saints of Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our Father of John de Gomen, our righteous Father of Pishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Savior and all the choir of your saints, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Remember, O Lord, your servants, the departed Christians, Awad Anwar, Margri, Sabri, Muhib, Tawfi, Hinin, Evelyn, Henry, Helena, Yusuf, Madeleine, Amin, Georgette, Subhi, Fuad, Laban, Shadi, Magdi, and all those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen, that place. And we too who are sojourners in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. Throughout the way into your kingdom, that as in this also in all things, your holy name be glorified and exalted in everything. Honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. Again, let us give thanks to God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us all worthy of partaking and communion of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. 
the holy body. And the precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ the Pantocrator, the Lord our God. Amen, amen, let us pray. Oh, my Lord, our God, the great eternal, who is wondrous in glory, who keeps his covenant and his mercy to those who love him with all their heart who has given to us redemption of sin through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, the life of every one, the help of those who flee to him, the hope of those who cry out to him, before whom is ten thousands of thousands and ten thousand times ten thousands, Holy angels and archangels, the cherubim and the seraphim, and all the innumerable hosts of the heavenly powers. O God, you have sanctified these gifts which are sent forth down through the coming down upon them of your Holy Spirit. You have purified them. Purify us also, our Master, from our sins, the hidden and manifest, and every thought not pleasing to your goodness. O God, the lover of mankind, may it be far from Purify our souls, our bodies, our spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart and enlightened soul, an unchained countenance, a faith unfeigned, a perfect love, and a firm hope, we may there with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Oh, man. 
Nirni Pasi Remember, O Lord, the peace of one of holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church. I remember, O Lord, our honor Father, the Patriarch of the Lord II, and his part in the liturgy of our honor Father, the Metropolitan and the Seraphim. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save the mean and with your spirit, and the fear of God, let us attend. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The whole is for the Holy. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father. One is the Holy Son. One is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The holy precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess to the last breath that this is the life given flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord the God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with His divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment, nor a twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. I mean... Amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house. Also, the Lord, the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing a little uh, pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate and Heavenly Holy Mystery. Is Lord have mercy.
change our sorrow and all our trouble to joy for our and total rejoicing. Let us worship Him and sing to His mother Mary, the beautiful, and let us all proclaim with the voice of joy, saying, Hail to you, Mary, the mother of Emmanuel. Hail to you, Mary, the salvation of our father, Adam. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the refuge. Hail to you, Mary. The rejoicing of Eve, hail to you, Mary, the joy of all generation. Hail to you, Mary, the joy of the angels of God. Hail to you, Mary, the true virgin. Hail to you, Mary, the salvation of Noah. Hail to you, Mary, the chaste and undefiled. Hail to you, Mary, the grace of Abraham. Hail to you, Mary, the unfading crown. Hail to you, Mary, the redemption of Saint Isaac. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the holy. Hail to you, Mary, the rejoicing of Jacob. Hail to you, Mary. Maryads of Maryads, hail to you, Mary, the pride of Judah. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the Master. Hail to you, Mary, the preaching of Moses. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the Master. Hail to you, Mary, the honor of Samuel. Hail to you, Mary, the pride of Israel. The sacrifice of Job, the just. Hail to you, Mary, precious stone. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the beloved. Hail to you, Mary, the daughter of King David. The friend of Solomon, hail to you, Mary, the exaltation of the righteous. Hail to you, Mary, the redemption of Isaiah. Hail to you, Mary, the healing of Jeremiah. Hail to you, Mary, the knowledge of Ezekiel. The grace of Daniel, hail to you, Mary, the power of Elijah. Hail to you, Mary, the grace of Elisha. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of God. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Hail to you, Mary, the beautiful dove. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the Son of God. Hail to you, Mary. All the prophets, and they said, Behold God the And an indescribable you. You are truly exalted more than the rod of Aaron, O full of grace. What is the rod but Mary? For it is a symbol of her virginity. Without a man to the Son of the Highest, the Word Himself through her prayer. O Lord, open unto us the gates of the church. I entreat you, O Mother of God, keep the to the faithful, let us ask her to intercede for us before her beloved, that he may forgive us. You 
Hail to you, O Mary, the mother of the holy God. Hail to you, Mary, the virgin and bride. Hail to you, Mary, the ark of grace. Hail to you, Mary, the fruit of delectable taste. Hail to you, Mary, the blessed and paradise. Hail to you, Mary. Hail to you, O Mary, the example of virginity. Hail to you, Mary, the hope of Christianity. Hail to you, Mary, the pure and righteous plan. Hail to you, Mary, the safe from the evil hand. Hail to you, Mary, the intercessor for believers. Hail to you, Mary, the righteousness for sinners. Hail to you, Mary, the light in the wilderness. Hail to you, Mary, the pure and the virtuous. Hail to you, Mary, the apparition beautiful and bright. Hail to you, Mary, the divine judge, judge is bright. Hail to you, Mary, dear and the precious. Hail to you, Mary, the faithful and righteous. Hail to you, Mary, the mighty one in wars. Hail to you, Mary, the revered treasure of the Lord. Hail to you, Mary, the tablet of the new covenant. Hail to you, Mary, the helper of those in ones. Hail to you, Mary, the pure offering of virtues. Hail to you, Mary, the pure temple of truth. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of God. Hail to you, Mary, the pleasure of the highest God. Hail to you, Mary, Hail to you, Mary, the flower in the paradise. Now God of Virgin Mary, help all of us.
Have mercy upon us, O Lord, our Savior. Kind of run him if you would, and if you didn't have no more at all, but not you know what I mean. If his mother would and Jeb, not if you would be Pantocrator, I mean. I mean, if his mother would and Jeb, you have no more at all, but in part of your tone, I mean. Glory and honor, honor and glory to all Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. O angel of this sacrifice, flying up to the heaven with this praise. Remember us before the Lord that He may forgive us our sins and let us all praise with the angel saying, Now that I've got the Father, grace is only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the fellowship, the gift, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You may all go in peace, and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.